planning center for your group. This will be the main way you communicate with people. Uh, the first thing you want to do is go to groups.planningcenteronline.com and that will bring up kind of your list of groups right here. You click onto your group, you'll see what your group is titled. Uh, the schedule should be in there for you because we've already set it up. Uh, so there's a few things you can do with this. Uh, when someone signs up for your group, something will pop up here that says uh, this person wants to be in your group and you click accept and, and you write them a short email. If you want to invite people by email, you can click invite new member, put in their email address, have them sign up. You can also just have them go to our website, come to connect.com slash groups and look for your group there. Uh, when you want to email your group, here's what you need to do. See this little email button? It says email members. Put the subject line, you type it in, and that's a great way to email. Uh, you could also text your group uh, from your phone. You can see all their numbers over here that you could put them in there. Next, I want to show you how to set events. Uh, this is going to be important because we need to know who comes. And so you're going to create a new event. And we need you to do this for each one. So you type in the name of event. And then you put in the schedule, right, whatever it is. And then repeat. Here's the nice thing. You could do every other week. Uh, you can meet on selected days of the month. Um, if you have first and third, you can put, you know, weekly for one event, create a second event and keep it going. But we need that because that's how you take attendance. And then each time you have your growth group, if you have your event set up, you'll get an email uh, to take attendance. And you can use the Church Center app uh, to take attendance as well. Uh, you can click on settings. Uh, we put the image in there for you. We, we'll change the name of the group. Um, and then the only thing that you might want to change here is add the contact email for you. That would be helpful. But everything else should be set for you.